Hi, I'm Emma and welcome to TikTok Tuesday. Each week we look at online trends and challenges and do the research to see if it's worth the hype. This week we're looking at something that a lot of viewers might find a little disturbing. Certainly plenty of people on TikTok did. Check it out. So what kind of things do you think that we should post about? Maybe your career, your accomplishments, mental health even? Yeah, we can do that, but I got something even better. So over the weekend, Howie Mandel posted a photo of what he claimed was his friend, Neil, with a prolapsed anus. Since Helping is a family site, I'm not going to show the video, but the reactions definitely speak for themselves. The term prolapse simply refers to something falling out of position and can happen to a lot of organs in the abdomen. In an anal prolapse, medically referred to as a rectal prolapse, the rectum, which is the bottom part of the colon, drops out of place. Typically, these conditions start gradually and at first may only appear after a bowel movement. But over time, the muscles can weaken until eventually the rectal prolapse becomes permanent. At this point, surgery is going to be needed to reposition everything where it needs to go. However, if the underlying condition is treated early, there's a chance that surgery can be avoided. Women are at a much greater risk of having this condition than men, and it tends to affect people in the older and younger categories, so very young children and older adults. So why are we talking about this other than the fact that TikTok kind of blew up over the weekend over this video? The reason we're covering this is because medical conditions that affect taboo parts of the body can bring shame and embarrassment on top of the pain and discomfort the patient's already feeling. A lot of researchers have also identified shame as a barrier to seeking medical care, as the patient might try to downplay or outright ignore the condition. And if they do get treatment for the medical condition, a lot of times the patients won't talk to family and friends about what they're going through, which can cut them off from an emotional support network. At Healthing, we're happy to talk about anal prolapses all day long if that's what it takes to make people feel a little bit more comfortable talking to their doctor about things that they're experiencing. Stigma, shame, or fear of judgment should never stop someone from seeking out medical advice. If you've had to overcome any of these to get a treatment, we'd love to hear from you. Check us out at healthing.ca.